God damn it, it happened again. Okay, so if you saw the last part, then you'll know exactly what's going on here. Uh, the audio is corrupted for a little bit, so I'm just going to have to dub over the top of it. Enjoy! Leon, that woman was... I have to talk to her. What? What was she? That woman was... my old college roommate? That woman was... wearing the same shoes as me? That woman was French? What was she, Ada? <sighs> God damn it, Ada. Finish your sentences, for Christ's sake. Ooh, she's running over there, though. That woman was running over there and disappears. Just magically disappears up that ladder. Oh yeah, the uh, cockroaches in this game are extraordinarily sexist. Because they only attack women. Look, they'll attack Ada. Ah, it's a woman! Let's get her! Ah! And in Claire's scenario, they attack Sherry if she's on her own, and they attack Claire. If she's either on her own or with Sherry. But, they do not attack Leon. Don't know why. Don't worry. You're the one who's with that car, if I'm not mistaken. Identify yourself. Ada. Bond. Ada James Wong. Bond. Ada Wong. I've heard that name before. Now I remember. I played Resident Evil 1. This is the T-Virus research used his girlfriend's name as his password. Ada and John, I believe. How did you know? Who are you? Annette Birkin. You know, uh, thinking about the characters that were referenced in Resident Evil 1. Virus. Will Whatever happened to Alma? What? John's dead. He became one of those zombies. My condolences. Oh no! John's oh, dead? Oh! You will be joining him shortly. I won't let anyone take the G virus away from me. G virus? It's capable of creating the ultimate bioweapon. Its potential is even greater than that of the T virus. Then that must mean the creature in the police department is precisely my husband, William. Wait, how did they come to that conclusion? It's all my brother's fault. None of this would have happened if they hadn't tried to steal his research away from him. And I'm going to tell you exactly how they did it in an FMV. This way. It's sheer perfection. My precious G-Virus. No one will ever take you away from me. Meanwhile, Sherry's in the corner saying, Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Hope you don't get shot. There he is. So you finally come. Doctor, we're here to collect the G-Virus sample. Sorry, but I won't just hand over my life's work. You might hit the sample. Shoot him again. It all right. Okay, let's move out. William. Oh my. Hold on, darling. I'm taking care of that bullet wound first. Stay here. Okay. I'll stay here. Dying. Alpha team, have you retrieved the sample yet? So, uh, by the way, Annette is relaying all of this to Ada at the moment. Are See? you telling me that he injected the G virus into his own body? The G virus has the ability to revitalize cellular functions. So, so, so then one of the guys said, uh, what, 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 what was that? And another said, shoot it. Eat this, you freak! I'm stopping it! What is it? 
Like, how does she know what exactly what they said? Hurry! Is he eating them? What, what is this thing? Get the logo to the intro of the title screen, whatever. And then a bunch of rats ate all the G virus samples. So those rats were the carriers of the virus. As a result of his virus induced transmutation, William should have lost any prior memories he had as a human by now. Even worse. Every G-Virus bioweapon, including William, has the ability to implant embryos into other creatures. And create offspring. No. Ooh, catfight. <laughs> Too bad. Wah, wah. But anyway, like Annette was saying, uh, Birkin has the ability to implant embryos. That's why he like plant implanted one into Ben, and it ripped out of him, <clears throat> much like a chest burster. But uh, it doesn't really come into play in the Leon A Claire B playthrough as that much. That was more of a, I just stepped on a slug sort of scream. Ada? But yeah, <clears throat> uh, the Claire A. Leon B. playthrough, it plays up on the whole uh, Birkin implanting embryos thing because he implants an embryo into Sherry because she is genetically compatible with him because you know she's his daughter and so she's got this embryo growing inside her and Leon and Claire have to get an anti an antidote from the lab so there's parts in the lab that actually are completely useless in this like in this playthrough that are essential if you play it the other way around I think that's why Capcom have announced that the Claire A. Leon B. playthrough is the official way to play the game. The, despite the fact that Leon's disc is, is labelled as disc 1 and Claire's disc is labelled as disc 2, so people will naturally play Leon A. Claire B. rather than Claire A. Leon B. Anyway, I picked up a coin, so pop it in there. And spiders are completely useless. And thankfully, I picked. I did, <clears throat> had the uh, foresight to pick up the valve because otherwise, I'd have to run all the way back because you can't get past this bit without it. And it's so annoying having to backtrack because you just forgot an item or you didn't realize you needed an item. Oh, I nearly forgot to do it again. Because you've got to raise it up so that you can go across the, the bridge on the top level with, to get to the Eagle Medal. So, there's some shotgun shells. There's a save point, but <clears throat> seriously, yeah, this is this is the uh, 
Oh, what the hell am I doing? I must have, I must have been going to save before quitting, but screw it. I am not going to quit because I've only just started this episode. Damn preemptive bloody chopping up of episodes. But anyway. I think I turned that, that double into a triple at long last. And now we fight the absolute toughest boss in all of Resident Evil history. You know, it is actually possible to defeat the boss without using the trick that everybody knows. Ah, the sound now. Ada! What was that you were shooting at? Oh, it's an alligator! Crocodile! Is it a crocodile or an alligator? I don't know. I'm not Steve Irwin. Crikey, that's a big croc! So yeah, everybody does this. Come on. Come on, little crocodile. Little jock the croc. Kabang! So yeah. That's the trick that everybody uses. Uh, sound's gone again. Uh, but the other way that people can, you can fight him, like by unloading everything you've got at him, and then he gets fed up eventually and just runs through a wall. But honestly, why would you do that when you can just sh kill him with one, one handgun this bullet? This wound isn't making things any easier. Quiet, Leon. Don't be such I'll a little bitch, me. Leon. Just because you've been shot clearly through That's the lungs. You know, I mean, it went in and out through his lungs. And he's fine as long as just Ada just... Out. Bandaged him up a bit. What? Never mind. Let's just get out of here. The sooner the better. I didn't really care for him anyway. You know, he was just a patsy so that I can get close to the T virus research. Oh, did I mention I'm a spy? Because, you know, that kind of thing might be important later on. Uh, but don't worry about that. You know, just ignore it. Focus on not bleeding to death through the big hole through your lungs. Yeah, that's right, Leon. Just collect coins, you know, add to your collection. But this one's got an eagle on it. I don't care, Leon. There are more important things to do right now. God damn it. Oh, not quite right in the, in the right position there. Uh, no, I don't want to use that. I want to use that. There we go. And because the sound's knackered, you don't hear the, the fan go. And then instantly like, stop at a slow pace. So anyway, I'm going to go past these sexist cockroaches. The ones that will not attack dudes so Leon's perfect gonna be perfectly fine see he's not even he's not even bothering to move they're not even gonna come after him I like that shadow effect on the the fan there I'm pretty sure that's not in any other version or at least not as good as that see they're not there cockroaches aren't there so it's like ugh, where did they go why aren't they attacking why am I complaining about this Shouldn't I just be glad that they're not attacking me? Uh, 
right? So the spiders in this area have been replaced with lame zombies that don't even bite you. They just throw up like that. Mm, but there's still spiders in here and the spiders are still useless. I mean, they're not even remotely a threat. Not like they are in, like, and they're not even creepy in this one. Not like in the remake of Resident Evil 1, you know, and like, I pointed out, the spiders in remake are so creepy. They genuinely freak you out. But in this, no. Right. Despite the sound being missing, you'll see the effect, but what causes this to happen? There's like a thud, like a boom sound, and you see the, the, the screen shakes ever so slightly, and you see dust fall down. What happened? What caused that? Did something explode on the surface? Did Birkin jump on the ceiling? You know, what happened? That is never explained. Right, well, anyway, I'm getting close to the end of the gap in the audio, so back to the original scheduled programming. And he just Ada just falls over. You don't have to fire a single shot during that scene. But I like to try and wreck the place as much as possible. I was just thinking, like, when, when I first came across this, I thought there was a guy sitting down there. And then when you get out, it's not. It's just a, a flare. A flare gun. you don't even have to use. If you know where it is, there it is. You can pick up that key. And then shoot the thing off just for the shits and giggles. Ooh. Ah. Come on, Ada, shoot him. There we go. Oh, 
Ouch! I got hurt! He threw up just as I was shooting him in the head. Oh, oh, oh! Ah, I didn't get to shoot his head off. Okay, so... That's uh, one shot, whatever. Combine that with that. Comes up with seven. Alright, so I'll put this away for now. Uh, put this ammo. Put that there as well. Don't need that anymore. Alright, so I'm going to save my game. And. I'll come back tomorrow and finish it off. Tomorrow. <laughs> oh. A range game has nightmare, expert, and rookie mode. <laughs> Whereas the original has hard, normal, or easy. Okay, what's the difference though? Is expert and nightmare different from normal and hard? Because rookie sounds like easy to me. They just like, sound like different names for the different difficulties. But anyway, we're still playing original mode. I saved it here. We're in the factory. What this factory manufactures, I don't know. But anyway, uh, yesterday when I saved this and gave up, I sorted out all my stuff. I got another brown one. But uh, first I need to go this way and get some shit and sort out my magnum and all that kind of stuff. <clears throat> some more handgun ammo. And over here is the absolute most pointless map of the entire game. There's a factory map. Will you take it? And the reason why, if I go into it, is like I'm at the very end of the map. Like, what is the point? Some... Ah, there it is. Magnum ammo. And a little 
key with a D on it. It's the D key. So I'll put this D key in here. Will you activate the switch? No! Not yet. Because I'm going to stock up on ammo and health items. I'm going to get rid of the, the handgun as well. Replace that with a magnum. <clears throat> now... A little OCD thing that I do, as well as having the gun next to the ammo that it uses, is actually having all the guns in order of power. Don't judge, it's just one of my things. Alright, so... That should do it. Although, I, I, I don't know, I think the uh, custom shotgun is actually more powerful than the Magnum at this point. Because it actually blows zombies, like, torsos off. Like the rocket launcher. What am I doing in here? Why did I come in here? Oh my god, I'm, I'm losing the plot now. And it's... And it's only quarter to ten in the morning. <clears throat> Although it's still 1998 according to the uh, clock on the Dreamcast. So we go in here and then we'll be treated to a lovely FMV of the train taking off and going down instead of sideways. The FMVs do look a lot nicer on the Dreamcast. And again, Ada just falls Ada. over. Ada, can you hear me? Come on, snap out of it. Remember in the epilogues of uh, Resident Evil 3? She's unconscious, by the way. Uh, Ada says that she's a waiter on a new mission. And that she's got a scar from that wound right there. <clears throat> And it's Ada's scar. She's not Ada Wong anymore. But then in Resident Evil 4, yeah, she's still Ada. Kind of annoys me how they kept retconning the whole bloody franchise again and again. I mean, if Ada Wong is her real name, then she's as bad a secret agent as James Bond. You know, secret agent, tell everybody your name! Here we go with the very first proper Birkin fight. I actually got the action figure of this guy. First things first, run away! <laughs> oh fuck you, bastard! It ah! I didn't mean to do that. Uh, 
Oh, I got a bit cocky with that third one. All right, he's almost done for. There we go. I did not mean to use that bloody health item. I was trying to combine. No, I wasn't. I was trying to equip the Magnum. I pressed it too bloody quick. And I just walk right through him. Yeah, the uh, D-pad on the Dreamcast is a little bit oversensitive. In fact, all the buttons are a little bit oversensitive. Don't die on me, Ada. Come on. Wake up. Come on. Remember when we revisited this place in uh, Resident Evil Zero? That was such a cock tease. Oh, more naked women posters. Although, well, she's not naked, but. <clears throat> Welcome back. Oh, there's a there's one. Oh. Hey, take it easy. We're inside Umbrella's secret lab. I'll go find something to treat that wound, so just rest here in the meantime. Yeah, we're in we're in the ground zero of this zombie apocalypse. Take it easy! Go. Save yourself. I told you, it's my job to look after you. But you'll be in danger if you stay with me. I know I've only known you for a short period of time. Because I'm a robot. I don't want to lose you. We're leaving this place together. Seriously, why is Leon not right like back. able to care for anyone? Is he an android or something? Anyway. Oh, I'm not holding anything. Another naked lady poster right on the wall there. Same one. That's like four times now? I'm sure there's some shotgun shells in here somewhere. There we go. Alright, so... Put these brown herbs away. Uh, do I want the handgun? Uh, I'll put the magnum. No. Yeah, I'll put the magnum away for now. And do my little OCD thing. There we go. Nice, neat and tidy. But I'll equip the shotgun because that's going to be the pretty epic one to use. <laughs> 